right then so we are looking to replace the five speed on the t5 this one is a facelift and it has the two liter tdi with 202 horsepower there are four variants or maybe five variants of the two liter tdi on different markets the 82 102 136, 140 and 180 something horsepower variants. On the first two, the 82 and the 102 comes with the five speed gearbox, which is originated back to the T4. And I think it was a modified version of the, the gearbox made it to a 2.4, the naturally aspirated diesel. Now that gearbox does not cope really well with the a low down torque coming from the 2 liters and 1.9 so they really frequently break and if you do a rim up on your van it's going to break even sooner here is the here is your possibility to change the gearbox to a six speed one coming from a 136 140 or 180 variants there are two variants of the gearbox it's the short and the long one the short one is when, it, when you are in six and you are going 160 kilometers per hour, it, the engine will rev up to around 3000 RPMs. It's with the long version, which, which is coming from the bi turbo, so the 180, uh, at 3k revs, your speed should be around 189, I believe. So, you need to first source the gearbox because this gearbox originates from the 2.5 TDI from the T5. The, the R5 or the inline 5 uh, 2.5 liter. This is a completely different design compared to the five speed and all the parts here needs to be replaced to, to make the conversion successful. So I'm going to list you the gearbox codes you can use. I'm not 100% sure which one is the long or which one is the short, but generally if you do this swap, you need to ream up your engine because they are not going to cope well with the long gear ratios. Now, so first you need the gearbox and you are going to need throwout bearing. Whenever you replace a uh, six speed, you basically need to replace the throwout bearing because they, are, they can collect dust uh, when you drive it and when you remove the gearbox from the engine this bearing is going to just come out completely and uh, the shaft here has the, the the dirt and dust inside the bearing and once you assemble it and use it the dust is going to wear out the, the ceiling and it's going to just throw out the whole uh, hydraulic fluid that operates the bearing so whenever you remove a uh, six speed and you reinstall a six speed you need a new throttle bearing all right so next thing is the no not the candy the 13 years years old shepherd a, a dual mass flywheel and a new clutch set so this is the disc somewhere down there and this is the the actual mechanism you need a left drive shaft from a six speed of course because obviously it's different right drive shaft or axle whichever comes first a gearbox, gearbox mount because that's different too because the gearbox itself is different you are going to need a new shift lever you are going to need a new starter a pair of cables for the six speed of course the the starter is specific to the six speed too and uh, we are going to need a um, hydraulic clutch line for the different bearing and stuff and the different routing and you will need a set of bolts because these are i believe longer than the one used on the five speed and uh, did i mention the the cables yeah you need new cables the cables are different the mount are different mounts are different and also, I warmly recommend to replace the, the dual mass flywheel bolts. There are six of them. And of course, the badge. This is the six speed, that's the five speed. So you can live without that, but it's just the crown of the whole process. The process involves dropping the subframe. 
it can be done in the backyard and you can do it yourself i have seen multiple guys doing it in the backyard by themselves it's about an eight hour job uh, i think that's without any experience uh, good luck <laughs> so once again if you like this video please subscribe and the drop a like uh, that helps me out here and there i'm going to reach as hell so Elon Musk can hide somewhere in the forest um, and that's about it i'm going to uh, or i try to film my mistakes when i do the conversion if i do it if i decide to do it myself so you can have a nice laugh how i struggle because this one is somewhere between 60 and 80 kilos and that's that is considered to be a light one because the dsg is even heavier so have a nice day thanks for watching again bye